Uh, lack of rain. We are dry. Chemist Prairie farmer Tom Mossman runs a large farm outside of Craigmont. He's spraying canola and says the crop's in trouble. They've had very little rain this spring. And we had some decent deep moisture, but I see that some of this canola on the 17th of April, and we've got less than a quarter of an inch since then. They average 22 inches of rainfall in the rolling hill country. This year, just a fraction of normal. And although the fields look lush, the canola is stunted, dull, and not growing. The drought, well, the drought's killing us, but uh, these cold nights, it froze night before last and everything's slow coming out of the ground. There's still a little moisture in the ground on these spring crops, but if we don't get rain soon and stop freezing at nights, this isn't gonna be pretty. Uh, what's plan B at this point? What are you gonna do? Uh, wait for next year. But Mossman says they can't give up on the crop. They have to bring the crop in to meet insurance and safety net requirements. When you're a dry land farmer, you get what you get, and we're, you know, we're typically we're probably 80 bushel, 70 to 80 bushel dry land wheat, which is pretty good for dry land wheat. Last year, it rained all of June, and we had great crops. This year, you know, if we average 40 on the fall crop, I think 40 or 50 will be doing good. And uh, price of wheat's gone up. Um, Everybody has federal crop insurance anymore, so that helps a lot. With wheat and canola prices through the roof, delivering a crop this year means good money. But farmers say no crop is disastrous. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Jake Putnam.